An incredible milestone as Strato launches ROC, the world's largest airplane with a whopping wingspan stretching 385 feet, successfully launched the Talon A, or TA-1, hypersonic vehicle for its first powered flight. It all went down at the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California. As the ROC soared over the Pacific Ocean, it released the Talon A vehicle. TA-1 is not your run-of-the-mill air-launched craft. It's powered by the Hadley rocket engine, a beast boasting 5,000 pounds of thrust and an oxygen-rich staged combustion engine. The Talon A is the product of American engineering as it's made by aerospace company Ursa Major. But let's circle back to Strata Launch for just a moment. The hypersonic vehicle flight is a major step forward for Strata Launch. The company's original founder died in 2018, so he wasn't able to see the results of his labors, the Rock, take flight in 2019. Shortly after that historic flight, the private equity firm Cerberus showed up on the scene and bought the plane. That's also when the company began focusing on hypersonic vehicles as well. Now, why all the interest in hypersonic tech? The competition in the space is heating up. China and Russia made early strides in the hypersonic game. China continues to make strides, so the U.S. is playing catch-up. The Defense Department appears to prefer hypersonic glide vehicles and cruise missiles at the moment. As for the Talon A, it flew for nearly three and a half minutes, according to Strata Launch, before falling into the ocean below, where it's currently adding to the natural environment by providing more man-made fish habitats. That's all part of the plan, though. It wasn't meant to be a keepsake, just a test vehicle. Also, small but very important caveat to point out here, this was part of an initial testing phase, so while the TA-1 did hit supersonic speeds, Hypersonic speeds will have to wait for another day.